Okay, so uh, let me turn the camera around. I'm sure that you weren't expecting this, neither was I. I just decided that I would vlog on a whim. I'm gonna vlog this whole week and it's not gonna be anything crazy or um, spectacular, but I have been watching so much Kelsey Kreppel lately. And honestly, I have watched all of her videos about eight times this week. I've watched her vlogmas like an embarrassing amount of times just within the last couple of days. There's something about that style of vlog where you just feel like you're hanging out with a friend and it's not like super staged uh, that I want to explore. And I just found that really pleasant, like while I'm working to put on Kelsey and just like watch her live her life. Like she's like, I'm, I haven't eaten today, but I'm gonna go get Taco Bell and I'm gonna open this package from Glossier. I love that. I love it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Um, what's going on today? What are we doing right now? Because um, while well, I just worked out, I'm doing Carolyn Gervin's Epic Heat. It is day 12 for me, um, and it was an upper body opposing, opposing arms, opposing arms, opposing upper body workout. Um, very hard. It's actually quite a struggle to hold the camera right now. So to really push myself even further, I've decided I'm going to move some furniture around because there's something, you know, when you just get that feeling of like something's not right, like I cannot operate in this space anymore because something is not right. Well, I've been feeling like that lately. Um, I am moving in September. I'm moving 20 minutes away from here, so it's not huge. It's gonna be an easy move and I have a whole month to like move all of this stuff in this apartment to that apartment. And so everything in this space has felt so very like temporary and, and weird and I honestly just don't really enjoy being in this space anymore. And especially in this particular spot in my apartment, which is, you know, 90% of the apartment. So that's great. Just because this feels like my kitchen and when I'm trying to just work and focus and the kitchen is right there, I'm like, what if I ate right now? And that's fine we love to eat, but it's kind of distracting and it just doesn't feel like a workspace, you know? So let's go into the bedroom. So we have the bedroom. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> this room is really ugly. There's really nothing going on here. There's this black Ikea sleeper sofa that I'm trying to get rid of before I move. Very uncomfortable, but let me know if you want it and you live within like 10 minutes of me. So yes, I'm thinking about moving maybe the smaller desk into here because it just feels a little bit more secluded from my, my kitchen. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move stuff now. Okay, so I think we need to move this before we move the couch, right? Because the couch is pretty big, in fact, don't really remember how I even got it through that entryway to begin with. So I'm glad that you guys are gonna be here to witness that. Sorry, I'm just moving all my tchotchkes. Okay, okay. Okay. So this guy's very, very heavy. Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're not, we're not gonna move. We're not gonna move the desk entirely into that room. We're just gonna kind of like, uh, you know, like, uh, like just kind of put them over here. And then, yes, and then just make room for the sofa. I only have a few more months left in this apartment. So it's really hard to care about this space because I know it's so temporary. Does that make sense? And so like making major changes that I know would make me happier, just don't even feel worth it for the time being. So I am just sort of like, eh, about my whole living situation until I get to move. And maybe that's not a good philosophy or way to live. Okay, let's go get the sofa, huh? I'm gonna put on my slipper and my little flippies. These are hand-me-downs from my mom.
Hi. Oh, this part's always a treat. How did I do that? Oh, this? You're probably thinking, oh, you're moving, right? So that's why you have a box full of stuff. No, that's from when I first moved in. It's all my paintings from college that I still haven't taken out of that box. Okay, we're tipping. Oh, oh. Am I scraping up the floor? I don't know why I showered before this. So the couch is here. I, I did it. Um, not sure what's on my hands. So live, laugh, love. This is really temporary, obviously. Um, I've had the couch here before, didn't love it. Do you just love my ugly little trash can? Like, that is the first thing that I'm buying that is nicer when I move to my new place, is not a trash can that looks like this. Like, what? Like, what, what are you even? Yeah, it's nothing much. This is nothing much. Again, temporary, but I think better than what I was dealing with before. I'm not one of those people that can't sleep in the same place that they work. I'm one of those people that can't eat in the same place that they work. Does that make sense? Now that we got that all sorted out, it's time to do some work. I need to call my agent and talk to him about a project that I'm working on. And I'll see you later when maybe I'll look better. Maybe not. Okay, sorry, one more thing before I do work. Um, I got those lights. I got the lights that people put in their homes to make it feel, I don't know, at first I was opposed to it because I'm like, I'm not on TikTok, but they, honestly, this has made me so happy, especially like if I'm laying in bed at night and I just want to have like a little, my room's on fire moment, I totally can. Sorry, it's really hard to do this with uh, one hand. See? I changed my shirt. I changed it because I actually hated that other shirt. But this shirt, I love very, very much. And that's because, first of all, it's a great shirt. Second of all, it's made by my friend, Zach Joseph Illustration. We have a green light. We have a green light over here. That's the color my agent chose. I just got off my call with him. Um, yeah, we cycled through the colors. I was like playing with it on my phone. And he was like, I don't want blue. Can you change it? I want green. I guess that was the vibe we were going for. And on the call, we were talking about the, one of the books that I am currently working on. And we were going through like the revisions that I need to make together, which are due at the end of the week. I'm having some trouble with some of the revisions and he really kind of helped me and talked me through it because he has a history in design. And I'm just gonna plug him really quick here. Um, I mean, Chad's got an incredible resume, but something that you might know him from is he did the design for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book covers. So, like, can you say your agent has done that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep working because in about an hour, I'm gonna go over to my parents' house a couple blocks away and we are going to eat food and we are going to watch Tara's house. All right, see ya. Don't put the camera on her. Please put it on me. Thank you. <laughs> LMK was? I did. What is it? Let me know. Okay. What did you say? Let me know. Oh, I got an alert. Lick my knees. That's gonna say. I am doxing my location just to show you guys the sunset. But 
It's worth it, right? I think it's worth it. It's 6.15. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago and I am headed to the gym. Today is um, isometric and plyometric um, lower body. Is iso, plyo, lower advanced, lower body with Carolyn. So I'll show you the gym fit and then we're gonna go to the gym. Have you guys ever played TF2? The reason I'm asking is because um, this reminds me, this is lemon water and wow, that workout was so hard, hold on. Le lemon water and peppermint tea in a mason jar. Uh, and it reminds me of when mm, Sniper has a weapon, I believe, that is just like pee in a jar. So I'm going to drink my little pee-pee water, have a shower, and then we're going to do a little germy, little gur, germy, mm, medicinal. I know this vlog is already getting kind of long, so I'm thinking that we won't get through a whole week. Um, also, this lighting is really just doing wonders for my already kind of yellow undertones in my skin. I'm sweating so much. I love to just accentuate the already sweaty face, the already greasy, oily, sweaty face by adding future dew. Today we are, I have a lot of work, of course. I feel like I say that every day, so what's new? But I do, I mean, I have a deadline coming up at the end of the week and I have plans throughout the week, like fun plans that I wanna be able to fit everything in. I don't wanna just be working all the time, so. Since today is Wednesday, I am going over to my friend's house to watch the Loki show, because you all know that I'm just a real big fat Loki stan. And then I'm going, right after I watch that, I'm basically just going to throw myself into work all day after that. I got a heavy one ahead of me, but I'm excited to see Loki. I'm excited to see Owen Wilson and hopefully see Owen Wilson and Loki. Um, if you're watching the Loki show, let me know what you think. No spoilers! But let me know what you think of it, because I'm really excited about it. As someone who has loved Loki since like 2011 and researched every facet of his character and watched every Tom Hiddleston video that exists on the internet before I turned the tender age of 16. Wow, I'm like, <laughs> the combination of the sweat, the lighting, and the future do is just I'm looking so great. So I'm gonna cut this little get ready with me, this little girmy short, and I'll show you the final look, and then I'm gonna go see Loki. We're not talking Loki spoilers, but if you know, you know. Um, so I'm in bed. I am doing work. Um, I've been doing work really since about one o'clock, but it has not been supremely productive work. I feel like I keep getting off track today, understandably. Yeah, I was doing work at a Starbucks and the vibe was off in that Starbucks, so did that for a couple hours and then left, and now I'm in bed doing work, and I am also listening to ASMR as I work, so we're just really getting in the mood to sleep at 6.20 p.m. as I work. I feel like I'm in a flow now, which is good, and I'm just gonna keep working until I can't anymore. And then, who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, you know, they say, 
the world is your oyster. I'm gonna end the vlog today. I'm gonna end it right now because it's just, it's getting on, going on a little too long. And I don't, I don't wanna make it like a 30 minute vlog. Um, but let me know if you liked this format. I really enjoyed filming it. It was more casual and it just kind of gives you a realistic look into my life hopefully, and maybe it kept you company. Let me know. All right. I love you. Wow, that just came out. <gasps> that was my first time saying that to you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>